Hey everyone, this is MOSFET, your simple tech news update. Lots of news from CES this week, particularly in augmented reality, as the industry tries to position itself before the Apple Vision headset launches. Xreal announced the Air 2 Ultra Developer Edition headset, which is a platform for creating augmented reality experiences. CNET visited their booth and demonstrated a range of apps which utilize features such as placing and anchoring virtual screens in space and interacting with them using simple hand gestures. They also showed off the use of simple interfaces that a user could interact with to trigger different features in AR apps. This developer version uses the brains of newer Samsung Galaxy phones for processing and is available for pre-order at $700. In other news, Sony also announced their own mixed reality headset, this time aimed at creative industries for designers, engineering and video production. It features four KO LED micro displays, video pass-through and interesting custom controllers for interacting with 3D objects in space. More details and availability will be announced later in the year. The Oculens is another augmented reality headset, but this one is aimed specifically at people who have macular degeneration or blind spots in their vision, making it hard to see and do everyday tasks like reading. What's interesting about this headset is that after a consultation with an eye specialist and carrying out some tests, it can locate exactly where a user's blind spots are and moves text and images away from those areas, allowing the person to see normally again. This week, Vuzix also announced their Z100 smart glasses. Unlike the other headsets mentioned today, these glasses are much lighter, weighing in at only 36 grams, employing a unique waveguide technology that bounces light in from the side of the right lens. This results in something more akin to a heads-up display, with simple text and icon information being available in the user's vision, but the upside is a super lightweight wearable display that runs for an impressive 48 hours on a single charge. Moving over to electronics and Samsung's display division unveiled some more unusual display concepts at CES this week. They showed off a mock car dashboard with folding and extending displays, as well as more generic sliding and rollable ones. They even demonstrated a phone-sized display that can fold in both directions. Switching to robotics and Figure AI uploaded a new video of their humanoid robot, this time showcasing its ability to fully autonomously make a cup of coffee using a coffee maker. There isn't much other information but Figure says that it took 10 hours of training and this includes the robot learning how to self-correct mistakes such as not seating the Keurig pods correctly in the machine. Samsung have also been working on their Borley AI companion robot, unveiling the latest version at CES. This little bot rolls around on the floor and can be interacted with with voice commands or through other devices. In their demo video they showed it controlling household appliances like a dog feeder, lights and air conditioning. It also comes with a movable projector that can display images and videos on the floor, walls or ceiling. In automation news, and construction continues to be an area with developments. At CES, HD Hyundai unveiled their concept for the future of the industry with their site transformation plan. This involves multiple types of autonomous vehicles. Firstly, a swarm of drones scans a site for detailed 3D mapping, then automated heavy machinery such as diggers communicate with each other and get to work. It kind of reminds me of the movie Moon. In similar news, Bobcat also showed off their new autonomous loader, the Rogue X2 this week at CES. There's not much other information about this other than that the machine is all electric. I wonder how long it will take for it to become the norm to see these on construction sites. And ending this week with a little more drone delivery news. Wing and Walmart announced that they will be expanding their drone delivery service to more customers this year after receiving FAA approval to operate in all of the Dallas-Fort Worth area. This will open up deliveries to millions of people, and from what I've seen, may be the biggest drone delivery service in the world. Currently, customers in the Dallas area are receiving goods from Walmart in less than 30 minutes, having them dropped off directly into home gardens or driveways. Matinet also recently received authorization from the German Aviation Office to launch a drone delivery service in Berlin to deliver laboratory samples between hospitals and medical facilities in the city. And finally, Chinese drone maker DJI announced their own delivery drone last week. The Flycart 30 can carry payloads weighing up to 30 kilograms, can travel 16 to 28 kilometers depending on what it's carrying, and has a max travel speed of 20 meters per second. It comes with two payload configurations, allowing users to add packages inside a box, or if there isn't space to land, there is a winch option that automatically unlatches once the payload touches the floor. There's also an emergency parachute which automatically deploys if needed. All right, that's everything for this update. As always, source links are in the description. Subscribe to the channel for more cutting edge news or check out the MOSFET playlist. See you next time.